Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. I thought I would do a quick video on the latest Notability update that just rolled out yesterday, Notability 9. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. I have done a ton of videos on Notability, which I will link in the description down below. Notability keeps getting better, and of course, we have to talk about it. So this will be a very quick video. I'm just going to be only talking about the updates and what I think my first impressions of them. So the first update was to the Shapes tool. Uh, Notability finally has made it easier to add all kinds of shapes into the application. And I have to say, it is the simplest way to add shapes offered by any note-taking application that I've used so far. I love the fact that I don't have a shapes tool that I need to tap and untap every time I want to add a shape. Just draw your shape and long press like you do with your straight lines, which is very simple and very easy. Just tap on the shape to style it and you can then adjust the stroke thickness and the color of the stroke. And you can also fill the shape with any of these colors and your own adjusted colors as well which is absolutely awesome i hope in the next update we'll be able to adjust the opacity for the fill color i think it's always good to be able to adjust the opacity and your shapes can be as irregular as you want them to be and it doesn't matter the application will still recognize it You can also duplicate the shape, you can cut it and paste it, you can copy and paste, and you can also delete it. You can adjust the size of the shape as well and you can also rotate it, which is absolutely awesome. The next thing they improved are images. The first thing and the only thing I cared about was support for PNG images. It's something they had before and then they lost it. Now they've brought it back. Um, they now support PNG images, which means you can add files without a background and there will be no background in Notability. Before this update, image adjustments were done through the text tool. And now you can still use the text tool icon and also the selecting tool, but a simple tap with your finger on the image allows you to edit it. Image rotation is much easier. Caption position doesn't rotate though, and it looks funny, but I've never used the image caption tool. I'm not even sure if it existed before this update because like I said, it's not a tool I use. So that is not a problem. Resizing the image also resizes the caption, which is really good. So you don't have to worry about the caption. You can resize them simultaneously together. Image cropping is now in the same writing window. No more going to some weird window where you adjust and crop your images. You can also then disable text wrap, uh, cut, copy and delete the images, the image, which is nothing new. They've always had that. You can now adjust the size of the eraser, 12 possible sizes. This is just crazy. You can still erase per stroke. But now, for those of you that complained, you now have the option to erase per pixel. The eraser is very smooth. It feels as good as the writing tool in the application, which is very, very smooth and very impressive. Lastly, pages. For pages, they added dotted pages. I am happy for those that use dotted pages. That's all I can say about the pages. This update is good, but there is still a lot of issues that need to be dealt with, especially as far as page customization is concerned. Over Really, I am very happy with this update because it will definitely improve my notes in the application. The team keeps dishing out massive updates that are really improving user experience in the application, which still makes Notability for me the ultimate and the best note-taking application for your iPad. Which update excited you the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. Who is interested in a comparison video between Notability and OneNote? Both apps have had recent updates and I think now 
will probably be the right time to be comparing these applications and seeing how the applications have improved and which one is better than the other um so let me know if you guys are interested in a comparison video thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video